You've seen in earlier videos how to move, delete, rename, and add functions and profiles to your Lynx system. The bigger question is, why do you want to do it? Not all electronics platforms handle the profiles and functions the same as Lynx. The advantage that Lynx offers is its overall flexibility and customization for the patient. Because we can have any function in any profile, as well as have them repeated, duplicated, this allows you to design a customized navigation. Additionally, Lynx allows the ability to have any function within any drive control set with its own input. This means driving with one input and seating or connectivity with another input. This is unique to Lynx and can be a significant feature for the support of our patients. For example, let's say you have a patient that works in an office and really only drives in a slower speed, needs to access Elevate and Tilt, and uses a work computer and a work phone. There's really no need to have to cycle through the other functions that could be on the chair, such as recline or his personal computer, or even faster speeds. By creating a profile that is customized for that specific environment, you've given quicker access to the functions that your patient needs in those moments. Create another profile for when he's at home that doesn't include the work computer and the work phone, but does include the other seat functions. You'll notice that the functions are being changed by tapping that red switch, and the profiles can be changed by long pressing on that switch if your patient is unable to swipe or tap on that, on that touch screen. Additionally, if you have somebody who has difficulty with a long press or prefers to use two switches, you can do the same a short tap on that red switch will change functions, and a short tap on the white switch will change profiles. This is a really great example of how to set up profiles that are more environmentally organized for your patient and giving them quicker access to the things they need in the different environments. Here's an example of customizing the profiles in a developmental architecture. Let's say, as a clinician, you're working with a young child who's using a head array, and you'd like to work on driving forward. You can have a function that is set up so that the child can only move in the forward direction. So the back pad is moving, but the left and the right pads do nothing. They can focus on starting and stopping safely without fear of accidentally turning. Another function can have the right and left turns on only, and forward and reverse are ignored. So there's your left and right, but the back pad does nothing. This allows for the child to turn and look around and continue to practice the fine control in smaller or even in the home environment without fear of running into objects. A third function could have all directions active and the child can work on putting them together to independently move throughout the environment. Left and right are working. The back pad is forward. This approach gives continued access to driving and practice, but in a safe and supported way with success built into the child's experience. Let's talk about a specific diagnosis for this next example. Muscular dystrophy presents with a unique challenge, which is a very limited range of control. Additionally, many of these patients tend to sit forward of the head and backrest. Gravity plays a big part in their continued access. However, they need position changes which can impede their ability to maintain access with the primary drive control. This means that a patient drives, that drives with a micro joystick in midline with their hand or finger may have difficulty when they tilt, maintaining that contact with the joystick. Lynx, unlike any other electronics platform, can allow the patient to begin tilting with their joystick and at the point that gravity begins to move your hand away from the joystick, they can continue tilting with the switches at the head. This ability of links allows a patient to maintain their balance in response to inclines and declines as well as position changes. This will allow for easier position changes in return to driving with the least amount of energy expenditure. 
the unique ability of links to allow each function to be controlled with a designated input is what will allow this patient to be independent with seating and driving throughout the day. The next example is a patient with ALS. These patients go through many changes throughout their diagnosis. They struggle with fatigue and energy fluctuations throughout their day. As they progress through the diagnosis, the drive controls will need to change. These patients will go through a transition from one drive control to the next. For example, they may be transitioning from a joystick to switches. During this time, they may drive with the joystick in the morning and be too fatigued to use that same joystick in the afternoon. In this example, I have a function change at my left knee and forward at my right, and then the right and left turns are at my head. And with a single tap of the function change, I am now driving with the joystick, I'm sorry, with the switches. So I'm going to drive a little bit with this joystick, okay, forward and back, you can see me driving the joystick. I'm in the afternoon, I'm too tired, I'm going to tap my function, and now I'm going to be driving with my head, there's my right and left, and here's my forward, All right? Tap it again, I'm driving in reverse. So with a single switch, I moved from driving with that joystick to driving with switches. With Lynx's ability to set each function, switches, driving with switches is a function, driving with a joystick is a function, with that ability to set each function to have its own unique input, your patient can be driving with a joystick at any point and hit a switch and be driving with the switches within the same profile.